of a drive coming up for TCU. But jumping isn't working up front to distract the TCU line anymore. Christian took a pop. Very talented redshirt freshman Mo Neal has returned from two knee surgeries to see some significant time of late for Utah. And Christian looked banged up. Wants to get a breather. He's kind of slight for a, a running back. 5'11, 188 pounds. Had good quickness, good receiver, but uh, he can only take so many shots. You can see how thin the young man is. But he does have her only touchdown of the night so far. Christian's bounced back and forth between wide receiver and running back. Pretty good at both. Aaron Brown inside the penalty. Two scores in the red zone tonight for TCU. Brown bottled, spun his way to a couple. That will leave fourth. Boy, Paul Kruger had a chance to drop him for a loss. It appears that the, the Utes are tired on defense right now. Win against Colorado State. 26 yard attempt for Evans. Whoa! Missed it. Banged it off the upright. Just his third miss of the year, and that one was huge. Fourth quarter. Johnson over the middle, in a double coverage, incomplete. Bet against him. To throw again on second down. Ball found its way loose, incomplete. Raphael Priest with the coverage. Third and ten. Plenty of time. Coverage by Sanders. Boy, now was close to and Jeremy Curley. Not likely to return this one. He'll just want a fair catch. That one, a horrible punt from Sakota. Off the side of his foot, TCU will have fantastic field position. Not the kind of punch that King Louis has wanted here in the fourth quarter. That one goes for 29. Aaron Brown. Five minutes and four quarters away from possibly playing in a BCS Bowl. Dalton over the middle. Jimmy Young has it for a first down for TCU. Christian inside the 20, 9 2 with the stop. Third and five. Watch is in the backfield with Brown. Dalton waves Bryant. Dalton has time to the end zone. Overthrew Walter Bryant. 35 yard attempt for the freshman from Burnett, Texas, to make it a seven point game. Missed it right. Cheerleads, see if the defense can step up for TCU. On first down, a few yards, Nick Sanders with the stop on the swing pass to Brent Castillo. I'm sure they're confident in their plan right now. They've just got to hang on to the ball. That's the first completion for Johnson in a long time. And this second completion now, the second straight goes for a first down. That's the season, a 25-23 win at the big house to open the year. Johnson. Over the middle, good hands. First down and more for Utah. And into TCU territory goes Brent Castillo. That's the kind of big play we've been looking for all night from Utah. 22 yards. Johnson flushed. Corks one deep. Knocked away. Flag on the play. Nick Sanders has had a tremendous game for team. Johnson. Pressure. Got away. Incomplete. School in Baytown, Texas. Didn't play until his senior year. Now he's the winningest quarterback in Utah history. Can this be his signature win? He's got 22 victories under his belt, but boy, if number 23 comes here tonight, he'd cement his legacy, wouldn't he? No question about it for the offense in that offensive line. Third and five, deep to the end zone, incomplete. 
Here's Godfrey in the slot. Over the middle. First down. Freddie Brown. T.J. Johnson brings him down. And Brown was in the slot on the other side of the field. A lot of attention to the near side with three wide receivers. As you see the agony of the young place kicker, Ross Evans. Now from the 15-yard line, first and 10, Utah. Into coverage, complete, timeout available. Again, it's Godfrey. I don't think you worry about using the clock yet. You got a minute to go in the ball game. You don't certainly don't want to give TCU any time on the clock if they get the ball back after you score. Johnson trying to engineer a go-ahead drive here in the fourth. On the slant. Touchdown, Utah. Freddie Brown. This is a well-built stadium. This press box is shaking right now. I thought it was my knees. Get a little excited when you see a great 80-yard drive engineered by Brian Johnson. Seven to nine on the drive and the capper finding Freddie Brown downtown. It's a three-point game with 47 seconds left on the clock. Good pass protection again. Good quick delivery. Slant route. Nine catches for Freddie Brown tonight. 105 yards and perhaps the biggest touchdown reception in the history of this football program. The headline said biggest game ever. Biggest catch ever. Biggest throw ever. But what will the headline say tomorrow? Biggest win ever. To work with. Utes needed just nine plays to cover 80 yards. Freddie Brown with a touchdown grab to give Utah its first lead of the game with 47 seconds left. Roman puts it in the air. From the three. To the 20. Aaron Brown. Ball. Ball tipped at the line of scrimmage by Koa Misi. Bobbled, incomplete. Batted away again. Almost picked. Stevenson Sylvester had a chance to seal the game. Derek Shelby. 11 seconds to go. Down the sideline. This one is picked up. Utah will go to 10-0. Johnson with his first interception of the season. The pursuit of perfection continues for the Utes, and Brian Johnson just gave somebody a souvenir. It took Utah all night long to get a touchdown, didn't it, Tom? And they finally did on their last drive going 80 yards. Led by their great senior quarterback, Brian Johnson. Man, what a job. And you know what? They still have two timeouts. <laughs> and they still have two games remaining to finish undefeated. Time now to take a look. 10-0, 6-0 now in Mountain West Conference action. But the big carrot at the end of the season is one that Utah realized in 2004, and that was a Fiesta Bowl victory over Pittsburgh. Can they get back there? Can they do it again? They certainly impressed the fellas in the Blazers that were here watching tonight, didn't they? 10-0. That's all you need to say. And beating a great football team, a great defensive football team, an offense that has a lot of weapons at TCU. Just a classic.